What's up, YouTube? Empire Comics here, and I'm back with another new comic book day video. These are books that are on my pull list, or that I'm specking on, or got a cool cover, first appearance. But before I start, smash that like button, click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos, and let's get into it. Up first for Boom Studios, I have Berserker issue three. Next for Boom Studios, I have Seven Secrets issue nine. I've been really liking this comic book. I've been reading it since issue one. I can't wait to read what happens now the whole world knows what's going on. The image, we got Radiant Black cover A, and then I have cover B, or it's the other way around. Then I have Time Before Time issue two from Image, then Ultra Mega number four. That's all for Image. Uh, for IDW, we have G.I. Joe 283. I'll be honest, I picked it up for the cover, but I think I'm gonna start picking up uh, G.I. Joe uh, just to see what's going on with it. Then we got Star Wars High Republic issue five. You know, everything Star Wars is hot right now. I'm actually liking this storyline a little bit better than uh, the Marvel High Republic storyline. And then for DC, we have Static Season 1, Issue 1. This continues from the Milestone Issue 0. So if you haven't gotten that, you might be a little bit lost. And then I have Nightwing Issue 81 with the first full appearance of uh, Heartless. Up next, I have Legends of the Dark Knight Issue 2 with a Federici variant cover. Uh, that's a cover buy for me. I'm trying to get all those. But there is the first appearance of a villain in that one. And last for DC, we have DC Pride Issue 1. Uh, that's a pretty dope cover. I believe it's the Jenny Frizen uh, variant. I like the colors, so I had to pick that up. All right, now for Marvel, we got Star Wars issue 14 as part of the Star Wars Bonnie Hunter storyline. And then we have Heroes Reborn number seven. I'm actually liking that. I know a lot of people are ragging on it. It's been interesting. It's actually one of the first books I read every time it comes out. And I also got the trading card variant with Thor. Then I have Giant Size X-Men issue one. They only had this variant cover. I'm not sure which one it is. I uh, want to cover A, but um, I guess I didn't have it. Then I got Miles Morales issue 27, cover A, continuing the clone saga. And then I had to get cover B, the Bartel variant. Something about the colors, it just pops. And then finally, after a long delay, Venom issue 34. This is the final issue in the arc, the final issue for Donnie Cates. Cover your ears, spoiler. Rumor has it we have a whole new Venom at the end of this. I got two of cover A. Uh, one of the two, issue 200. I'm not sure who this one's by, but I thought it was sick. And you already know I had to grab the Gleason Webhead variant. Got three of those. I gotta make room on the wall for one. All right, guys, that's all I got for New Comic Book Day. Just a quick video showing you what I got, what I picked up, what I'm specking on, what I might be flipping. Let me know in the comments below what you're reading or what you're specking on, what you're flipping, whatever. If there's something I'm missing out, let me know. All right, man. Peace.